What if I told you the best to be never came? This kid here, man, it's a beast. You know, it's like a specimen. He was, it's like he was born to play football. And I told him, I think Kelly was really good, but you only gonna have one opportunity to draft a guy that's gonna put back the game. Uh, such a shock. What if I told you that only the good die young? I told you that one man's death affected an entire nation. I remember my first impression of Sean was, this guy's a man. His athletic ability was second to none. When you seen him out there, man, it was, it was just natural. He played the game like it was supposed to be played at that position. This guy was 24 and was just entering his prime. Sean so Taylor and myself grew up in Homestead, Florida. It was a very small town, family-oriented place. We first uh, got acquainted with each other at the age of six, playing little league football. We made that bond, you know, that we would, we would end up going to University of Miami when we all signed our letter of intent. We used to always watch the, the incoming recruits highlight tapes, and it was one kid that stood out. You know, he played running back in high school, and, he was always like jumping over guys and score touchdowns. And I was like, wow, this dude coming in to take my job. And I remember asking our running backs coach, like, who is this? And he was like, he want to play safety. And I was like, what? This kid here, man, it's a beast. You know, it's like a specimen. He was, <laughs> it's like he was born to play football. I hard to say it had to be for a state. PK Sam came on crossing route. And when Sean hit him, his body did like a somersault, flip upside down. Talking back and forth with the GM, the owner, and, and Coach Gibbs at the time, they were really high on, on drafting Keller Winslow. Portis would drop by all the time and say, Sean Taylor, with Sean the, Taylor, uh, gotta take Sean Taylor. Four NFL draft, the Washington Redskins select Sean Taylor. Oh. Safety, well, University of I Miami. Think so. to draft a guy that's going to impact the game, uh, such as Sean. Sean would beat the crap out of guys in practice, and he never did it to me. And I was always so thankful. Uh, and I always thought, yeah, I'm going to be nice to this guy, because uh, he's about the toughest guy I've ever met. Sean's presence alone made guys fear him. To the right, to the 20. 40, 45, 50. Keeps the puck. I'll tell you what, there was a terrific block. I think it was by Sean Taylor. Well, you got a real injury here because, I mean, I think Sean Taylor just nailed the guy. The 10-yard line on the big return by James Thrash. It's about to at the two, I think. One was recovered by the other team. 
Sean Taylor uh, with a huge block right here. Look out. Good oh. night. I saw that post game list. You pick up the ball after the fumble. You saw it. What are you thinking? I always think score once I got the ball in my hands. And uh, I made one move and I seen daylight and I just ran. And with the way this game was going, I mean, it turns out to be the nail, the, you know, the cough, nail in the coffin. Yeah, it was the nail in the coffin. You know, I was just happy to, to be able to put us up by 10 and uh, there's still 11 and still the deal, man. That's that's all we could have been happy for, you know, to uh, put it away. This, this Eagle team, they were scrappy. We knew they were going to come out and fight and try to spoil our show. But uh, we were determined not to let them spoil our party. Sean, yeah. Sean go back to five and six. Did, did this team believe? I ain't going back to five and six. We're ten and six. <laughs> so I don't want to hear no more Sean, five and six talk. Sean, what's this mean to you, though? I mean, in general. What does it mean to the, to the whole team? We happy, man. We happy. We happy. It's, it's, it's fun for us to be in this position, man. It's, it's fun to be playing for a Super Bowl, a ring. You know, and every game going to be that way. So, you know, it's going to be a lot left on the field every week, and we're going to we're gonna have to come come and bring it. That's it. we got to come. Oh, pass. Coming at it. Looking, looking over the middle, fires. It's picked off. Sean Taylor with it. Off to the races, 40 to the 50, 45 to the 30-yard line out of bounds. His fifth in interception motion. of the year. Smith, and it's a reverse. It's a reverse to Davis. Breaks a tackle at the 44 count. Backpedaling. Pumps going over Ooh. the middle. Has the man. It's incomplete. And he short-armed it because he saw three. Sean Taylor blitz. Pass is delivered, caught over the middle. Sean Taylor is making his way through the tunnel, and he has come off the field as the Redskins training staff going to check Sean Taylor out in the locker room. What a good feeling, huh? I really think fatherhood changed Sean. When he hit fatherhood, it was the idea to be the best parent that he could be. And with it being a little girl, he always wanted to be around him. He's a great father, and he was very passionate about his family. And it became, this was his life. When we was going out and we asked him to come out, he like, nah, I'm gonna chill with my daughter. And he wanted to be around her and watch her as she grew. We were actually getting ready to go to Tampa Bay to play. And I had just had a son. I just remember him and that conversation been so in depth, and he was like, man, you lucky. And that was like the last conversation we had. Breaking news out of Florida involving an NFL star. Washington Redskins safety Sean Taylor was shot this morning outside his home in Miami. According to a family friend, Taylor's girlfriend called 911 after someone broke through the couple's bedroom door and fired two shots. I'm sitting in bed and I get a phone call saying Sean was shot. Taylor's condition is now listed as critical. About uh, 4.30 or 5 in the morning, I got a phone call from Drew Rosenhaus and uh, said we lost him. It was tough, man, you know. I dealt with a lot of losses in life, you know, as far as family members. And... I don't know why his meant a lot more to me than anybody else. That day, you know, when he passed, man, I was a different person, you know? That's why when I make plays, you know, I thought with Deuce one. To this day, I still throw him up. I had this obituary in my um, living room. I had this picture up for a while just to remind me you know, what's important, you know, and just his memory. The thing I miss most is just knowing that he's here. I catch myself watching a lot of his highlights on YouTube and just bringing back old memories and just reminiscing. For that little bit of time that we shared here, that time meant a lot. And that's why it probably hurt me so much because you ain't gonna get that again, you know, until I meet him on the other side. He's brought down at the 26-yard line. I mentioned the Miami Hurricanes playing with a heavy heart. Listen to the three Canes on the Ravens' side before the game tonight. Sean, it's the only thing we play for tonight. Do you understand that? Not a game. This is family right now. And one of our brothers is going home the rest. Let's send him home right. Not about the outcome of the game, but about how you play the game. Let's give everything we got for 21 tonight. Give everything we got for that man tonight, man. We know that these individuals on the night of occurrence entered the residence. We know that once that they were in the residence, they encountered Mr. Taylor. 
We know that Mr. Taylor was mortally wounded by a single gunshot. The uh, fifth pick in the 2004 NFL draft, the Washington Redskins select Sean Taylor. When you get what you want, but not what you need. Earlier this summer, I remember watching the Pro Football Hall of Fame induction ceremony, and I thought to myself, one day he'll have his place among the greatest of all time. I imagine him up on that stage making his speech, and I imagine what he would say and who he would thank. There'll probably be most of the people in this arena today. He would thank God, his parents, his great-grandmother, his grandmothers, his brothers, his sisters, his family and friends, his coaches and his teammates. inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame, but I also feel if there was a Hall of Fame for being the best person, the very best person, he'd be in that Hall of Fame too. Sean was at peace in his life, you know, it, it showed in everything he did, he, he was always smiling in the locker room, he came to work with the right attitude, and one day, you know, he said, Clint, man, you always smile, I wish I could do that, and you know, I'm wondering, I'm thinking the same thing about you. I love you as my brother. I love you as my friend. The rest of my fellas and my teammates that I never had the opportunity or, or took advantage of the opportunity of letting you guys know how much I love and care about you guys. This is the time to do it. And this is a great starting point for me. And I'm gonna miss him with all my heart. I love him. I thought when he came to the Redskins, I was his guardian angel. And when the way events went, as God would have it, he turned out to be one of mine. You know, I don't think in today's society you're going to find too many uh, athletes that instill fear in the next man. I think with the direction that the game going, uh, Sean Taylor probably was the last of his kind. I sit up here and uh, I say, Hina, I get a part of Sean Taylor's life, you know, me. Then I thought about it by sitting by two guys over there in the corner, which was Butch Davis and Larry Coco, who recruited Sean Teller to come to the University of Miami. And then I listened to everybody talk today. And, and, and when you look up the word family, 
You'll see Chantel is smiling in the, in the dictionary if you look up the word family. You'll see his picture sitting there with that beautiful smile that he got, sitting back like this and just looking at you. Because that's what Sean. I look at the fans up in the stands, the Redskins, the family involved, ex players, University of Miami players. Everything a part of this whole thing today is all about Sean and how much he's a family man. Yeah. 
God made him to play football. Just respect the guy out there running around with a lot of heart, a lot of pride, and just trying to be the best. Chantel is going to bring his best. He's going to give you everything he's got. He played with such a passion. You could see how much he loved what he was doing. You don't get a player like that every day. What's your favorite part about playing for the Redskins? Oh, my favorite part is uh, when we get home games and uh, the fans are cheering and we have that 12th man and uh, everybody's excited. I like playing at home. You know, that's my favorite part about being a Redskins, playing at home in front of our home crowd. Over the last two years, uh, I got a chance to really see him grow as a man. We're going to miss him very, very much. I'm very proud of some of the things that, that uh, he has been able to accomplish since he's been here. I mean, how much is his baby meant to him? That man changed his life. That man changed his mentality. He changed his attitude. He came to work with a uh, uh, defined happiness. I've never seen anybody play football like that. He brought a lot of enthusiasm. You got everything on the field. We will miss Sean. He'll be in our hearts forever. Number 21. God bless you, man. I miss you. See you up there when I get there. No, I've never seen or been around anybody that played the game with as much passion as he played it with. He literally played like it was his last time every game. What he would have wanted us to do was to play, and not just play, but play hard. The only way we can honor him right now is to go out on that field and play. Go out and play football. Heart, passion, respect. God bless you, man. We love you. You want to say I love you, man? You're the best I ever coached. Yeah, you will be met. Sean, thanks for all you meant to us. And God take care of Sean until we get there with him. It's hard to tell another man that uh, you respect him or you look up to him or that you even love him. And, and you know, those three things that I would definitely tell him if I had that opportunity. You know, the last thing I want to say to Sean, man, is that you'll be well missed as a friend, as a brother. And I just wish you watch over this team, man, because we know that you still love us and we know you're still going to be with us. I just kind of wished and dreamed and hoped and, you know, maybe one day I get a chance. And uh, fortunately, God willingly, I was able to get that chance here with the Redskins.